Hello you guys, welcome back to the cool Oh, what do you your hair? I got a new haircut everybody, if you guys know that What the, what the fuck I'm do there? Well, excuse my language But I got a haircut, I gotta do it for the holidays You feel me? You know, I gotta get the, the haircut before Tomorrow Thanksgiving So I gotta get this video out for you guys Today I have your week 12 picks You guys seen yesterday my week 11 results Go check it out, but today I have your week 12 picks Okay, because I was going to do my NFL week 12 picks. I, gotta, I was going to do them yesterday with my week 11 results. So I'm like, dude, I, can, I, I have time. I'm not leaving until like 3.30 to get up to um, I go visit the family for Thanksgiving. It's about a three almost. Depends if there's a lot of traffic going past the L.A. area. And it's almost four hours because there's traffic last night in L.A. So it's like a parking lot in L.A. on the freeway. So we don't get that. And we make it. There, because I don't want to be in the car for four hours. I don't want to, want to get there so I can have some, some go meet family, watch a little basketball, because there's a basketball game on tonight, and um, <laughs> my cousin loves basketball. Well, one of my cousins loves, loves, loves to play basketball and watch it, so the so basketball is on tonight. A couple games. I'm going to get there. There'll be like, I think the Thunder and Thunder, OKC. Thunder and um, Kings game will be on. So, anyways. Let's get right into it. We have a triple header on Thanksgiving. Because that's what we do. We give thanks to a wonderful God that plus us with football in the morning through the night. That's what, that's what it is, right? So we have the first game. My Minnesota Vikings play host. No, we don't play host. I wish. We play in Detroit. In, Detro in, in Detroit. We both come in the game with the record of six and four. Hmm. This this is this is a tough one. This is a close one. Um, this is gonna be a tough one. I want I want Jacksonville. I thought really played good. You guys saw my week eleven results. I talked all about it. That Jacksonville really played better, I think, than Detroit. But Detroit was a better man. Pulled out for the win and got it. So Detroit won that one. Way to go, Detroit. Super Bowl tied six and four. Winner gets the seventh win. Loser get the fifth loss, so um I do not know what's going on here. But then we have Washington and Dallas. Come on. Then we have Washington and Dallas. And that one is okay. Washington at Dallas, because it's usually Detroit, Dallas, and I think the Colts. I don't know why it's always those three teams they always have Thanksgiving games. They gotta switch it up. Kind of gets a little old every year. It's Dallas at home on Thanksgiving, you know, and they do like um, Salvation Army thing on there. It's like, the, it's like we we get it. It's always the Cowboys. The next rest of the Cowboys. This is a tough one. This is a tough one to call here because the Cowboys are nine and one, and the Skins are six three and one. Everything, everything Dak and uh, I know. I don't know. I want to. I want to go with the underdog. Let's go, we're gonna go underdog here. I want to go underdog here. You guys should listen to me. Go underdog. Go Redskins on this pick. I promise you guys, you never lose. I didn't go with Redskins. I'm gonna go with the Redskins. I really want Redskins to win. So, so the Cowboys will be 92. So Redskins over Cowboys. Then we have Pittsburgh at Indianapolis Colts. The Pittsburgh Steelers are five and five, and the Colts are five and five. Two teams coming in this game at five and five. Mm. Who to pick? Who to pick? The Pittsburgh Steelers, of course. If you don't pick Pittsburgh, you guys suck. You guys think Andrew Luck's gonna pull it off? Well, you guys are wrong. The so Steelers over Colts. Wasberger and Lady on Bell not gonna pull it off. So that's it for Thursday, and that's a Thursday night game. I think they're they either going to be wearing Color Rush. I don't know if they're going to be wearing Color Rush that game, but maybe. Depending on that, I know after that, and then we have, within well, our next game will probably be Thursday night, and it's, it's at home against the Cowboys. And we got our Color Rush uniforms that night. I can't wait to see them. So now we're going to head to Sunday. Sunday we got Tennessee at Chicago. Ooh. Tennessee five and six. Ooh, ooh, and Chicago two and eight. 
Chicago Bears, of course. Just kidding. No. Are you kidding me? Chicago's gonna get the ass whooped to Tennessee. No if and the brothers. It is an easy, easy pick. So, if you're gonna pick Chicago, go ahead and be my guest, because your thing, your thing for the weekend is gonna get ruined. If you pick Chicago in your picks, and you'll be like, really? Yeah, really. So go with Tennessee over Chicago. If you don't, then I don't know who else. So next we got Jacksonville. <laughs> At Buffalo. I'm just saying. I am just saying. Jacksonville 2-8. and eight. Buffalo 5-5. Five and five. Pick whoever you want. I'm going, I'm going to, I want to go Jacksonville this time, but I don't, because they really played good last game. Don't get me wrong, they should have won. And they might even beat Buffalo. I'm going to go with Buffalo on this one. I'm going to, not going to, you know, I'm going to go Buffalo. So 6-5 for Buffalo. Oh, you okay? You feel me? Next, we got Cincinnati, the 3-6-1 Cincinnati. 3-6-1 with the tie, Cincinnati Bengals. At... The um, five and five Ravens. Ooh, that's a good one, right? It's a good little Sunday matchup there. I'm gonna go with the Bengals. Sound pretty interesting, don't they? No, they don't. Nothing interesting being the Red Rifle and AJ and, and AJ Green out. All right, so now let's go with. Our gut here, we're gonna go with the Baltimore Ravens. It's in Baltimore. Okay, next we have Arizona. 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 We just beat Arizona, which Arizona is 4 and 5 and 1. And Atlanta had a bye week, so I think Atlanta, what, won? What oh, was it, like 6 and 4? I mean, like 6 and 4. I think I don't I don't have Atlanta things on here. I just got whatever's off here, so Atlanta and Arizona. <sighs> it's gonna be in Atlanta. Can't wait for that new stadium to be revealed. Mercedes Stadium, Mercedes Benz Stadium, whatever. That thing looks pretty badass. This is a tough one to choose. Atlanta and Arizona play pretty good. They could probably pick up a win here. You know, you got Larry Fitzgerald and he's playing high. Got, I don't think Tyron Matthews is playing, but the honey badger, but you got some good players on here. I am going to go with Atlanta. I'm going with Atlanta. Next we got okay, this is a, this is a no brainer. You guys you guys you, you guys decide on this one. The New York Giants versus the Cleveland Browns in Cleveland. Um the Browns should get a bye week. I don't know if they have one already, but they should. So they can be so they can just, you know, get a rest. Like they really need one. All they're doing right now is pushing their luck for a for a first round First round playoff pick, honestly. Like, like, let's be on here. That's what they're going for. Just a first round, first round draft pick. So, it's a tough one to call here, but everybody should know that the New York Giants are going to win, right? Okay, the 0 11 Browns and the 7 3 Giants. 8 and 3 Giants. It's gonna, it's gonna happen. If you guys don't believe me, and if they lose, if the Giants lose, oh my God. You know, it's not gonna happen, but you guys, you guys feel me, you know. Anyways, we got the four. We got the Saints. Okay, the four and six Saints playing to the four and six Rams, and it's going to be let's see here in New Orleans. They both come in the game with the same record. I am going to go with oh win the Saints, oh win the Saints, oh win the Saints, oh win the Saints, oh win the Saints. Oh, win the Saints. Oh, da 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 the Saints, yes the Saints, got this game. Okay, you feel me? Next we got San Francisco. If you're going to San Francisco. With a bow in your head. Where did that song from? 29, 10, San Francisco. To the 6 and 4 Dolphins. You guys choose. 
If it was the 49ers and the Browns, who would, who do win? Okay, it's like that. Who will win? The 1 and 9 49ers or the 0 and 11 Browns? They should have a game. They, they should play each other. I just want to see that game go down. There's probably the two worst teams right now. That game never happens this season. They need to happen. They need to have like a mini game going on there. <clears throat> 49ers versus Browns. That needs to happen. I'm going to look at the schedule, but it needs to happen. 49ers and Browns. If that doesn't happen, NFL, you just done yourself wrong. Because everybody wants to see 49ers and Browns, don't they? Make national Sunday night or Monday night television. Or Thursday night primetime television. Whatever. This is a no-brainer. Dolphins. Come on. Okay. The 4-6 and six San Diego Chargers go to Houston and play Houston the 6-4 and four Houston Texans. I really want the Chargers to win this one. I really do. Not because I live in San Diego. It's just they need this win. To leave, to leave look somewhat decent in the picture, the playoff picture. But, they're, I mean, if they would have won last week or the two weeks before because they had a bye week last week, the week after that, yeah, they would have still made a playoff picture. Even if they win this week, I don't know if they will, but let's, let's just go San Diego on this one. So it could be 6-5 um, Texans and 5-6 and six Chargers. Okay? And then they have a chance. If the Raiders can do it, so can... The Chargers. It's not even in. <coughs> it's not even in Mexico. It's just in Houston. Okay, next we got Seattle. Okay, Seattle who just crushed the seven and two and one with the tie. Seattle Seahawks play the five and five. Hold on, girl. The five and five Tampa Bay Bucks. This is gonna be. A good one, but everybody knows it's gonna happen, right? The freaking playoffs gonna crush, literally crush their dreams, and it's in Tampa Bay. They're gonna crush their dreams in Tampa Bay. Anyways, on a better note than that, I'm gonna go see y'all. Obviously, I want, I want to, I want to go Tampa Bay, but every no see if they win, so I just go with everybody's gonna say. See, see y'all, okay? Okay, the four and six Carolina Panthers play in the Black Hole Oakland Raiders, the eight and two Raiders. This is a no-brainer. Raiders over Carolina. If you guys don't like that pick, tell me to go F myself. Please, because the Raiders are looking hot. Not, you know, no homo, but they're looking pretty good right now. Okay. The Patriots. The eight and two Patriots versus wherever the the jet the Jets versus the Jets. Patriots obviously the Jets have not a good record either. The Jets, 49ers and Browns have the worst records, I think. Okay, and the Jags, but they won two games. Anyways, so next up Kansas City, Kansas City. Let's see here. 73 Kansas City versus what? What, what? what are the Broncos? Six and three. They had a bye week, so six and three Broncos. Seven three Kansas City. Should be a good. This would be a good one. I like this one. I do. I really do like this one. Could be a great matchup. I'm gonna go with um Denver. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm gonna go with Kansas. No, I'm going with Denver. No, no. I'm gonna go with Denver. Anyways, we have the main event Monday. Not main event Monday. We got the Green Bay Packers. Four and six Packers play the five and five Eagles in Philadelphia Monday night. Looking pretty hot on Monday night. Everybody's saying the fucking Eagles are gonna get their asses beat in, their faces punched in, their teeth knocked out. They're gonna get their fucking shit wrecked. <coughs> Excuse all my languages on that one, but. I'm going to go with the Eagles on this one. I, not because I really like the Eagles. I just want to go with the Eagles on this one. I don't want the Packers to win. That's why. But Nelson Aguilar needs to get out of there ASAP. <laughs> I'm just saying, Nelson Aguilar needs to go. I think a Doyle Green Beckham and um, Jordan Matthews is okay, but Nelson Aguilar needs to get out of there. Dude, you suck. You suck. But anyways, those are my picks. 
Thank you guys for watching. Drop a like if you guys enjoyed it. Happy Thanksgiving. I probably will not do my reaction tomorrow because it will be family on Thanksgiving. And when my game is, I'm going to go outside, take my camera, start filming me, recording me, doing my reaction, and uploading. I'll probably do that when I get back. And that'll probably be next Saturday, late Sunday. So, anyway, thank you guys for watching. Drop a like if you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Like, subscribe, favorite, share it. So all people can watch and they can have their picks for Sunday. I'll, I'll let you know what their picks are going to be. Alright. Happy Thanksgiving, y'all. I'll see you guys with my reaction. Later in the week. Because I won't be shooting anything at all this week. This is my last video. So when I come back. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. See you guys later.